Tom, wait. Welcome to my hair video. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so... My last video was taken yesterday, so today I'm on second day hair. I went for a run this morning. I had this hat on. I was sweating. But second day hair is always the best. You're gonna take a section in your hair, kind of in the middle. You don't have to go crazy. So if I do a relaxed wavy look, I don't really necessarily have to start at the bottom because I don't want my hair to be over curled. I'm gonna grab a section about this size. I also hold the hair out. If my hair is naturally going in one direction, you wanna use your curling iron so it's following the same direction. The way I showed you guys how to blow dry it was going forward. I'm gonna do the same thing with the curling iron. And when you spin it, you wanna um, hold it there for not that long. And you leave the end out. And then I immediately pull it with my hand. I kind of give it a tug so it pulls that curl out and that's how you get that look. Um, my hair curls really easily so depending on your hair type you might have to hold it a little bit longer than I did. So I also alternate the way that I curl my hair so I'm gonna twist it the opposite way and I'm just gently tapping on the clamp and I'm leaving the ends out always and I'm immediately pulling it through. And if that's the look that you want, that's exactly how you get it. Same thing, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction and dissolve. And you're gonna do that. I'm gonna do one more back here. When I take the hair out of the iron, I kind of just follow it and spin my iron in the direction and then I just tap the ends out so they kind of come out pretty straight. Another important part about curling your hair is even though you don't want your end result to be curly from your root, you still want to curl starting all the way up at the root. The reason for this is this is gonna keep your curl longer lasting. A lot of people have trouble with their hair falling out within a few hours. The closer you start at the root, the longer your curl is, and it's not gonna weigh your hair down to where your hair falls out. It's going to last longer this way. Okay. And that's one section. This is basically four sections. With my front pieces, because I have shorter pieces in the front, I do smaller sections. Grab the hair like this, tap the hair ever so gently to get just a slight wave in the front. I'll do the same thing in the same direction here, starting all the way at the root, tapping all the way through, and then I'm still pulling my hair up and running my fingers through it so you get that natural look. Another thing that I like to do when I'm doing waves like this is I don't hit every single piece of hair. Um, I do leave some pieces straight because I want my hair to look as undone as possible. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so now that you've waved the majority of your hair, you can kind of look at it and see the pieces you probably missed. Um, so you can kind of go in and take really thin pieces and then just keep adding waves to where you want it, where you want them to be. Okay, so we've gone through a lot of your hair now. There's definitely pieces I see that are way too curled for me, so that's where the flat iron comes in. You can just kind of lightly, uh, on a low temperature, go over your ends and just kind of flatten them out. And I hope you guys 
just like it. I like it. I think it's kind of fun. I didn't use any products in my hair. I like to use as little product as possible because I like when, that my hair is able to last for up to a whole week. One product I do like is Orbe. I'll praise Beach. No idea how to say that, but this is a wave and shine spray. It smells really good and it gives you just a little bit of extra texture in your hair and you just kind of scrunch that in and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.